I had an interesting discussion um, before the show talking about previous concepts of creativity where the ancients thought that we discovered it. We don't really come up with it. It's something that already exists and we discover it. What do you think about that? Um, I'm not sure if we discover it. Um, I mean, and I don't think that it exists. Um, I don't think that it's something that's tangible. Um, just because my work, I suppose, with uh, the Mural Music and Arts Project and, you know, at 49ers Academy, um, I see it within my students, right? And I can see them put it down on paper. Um, I could see them put down whatever it is that they see in their minds on paper. Um, but it's not something that, you know, I can fully grasp, right? Like, I can't have their creativity. I can't hold on to it. I could, I could get their work after they finish it. Um, but it's very different than um, touching the source of their creativity, which is their imagination, I think. That's fascinating. Comments? Well, I was thinking when you asked that question about what it's like to write a song. Um, and I know that when I get into a state of mind where I just let ideas come to me out of nowhere, I just sort of get out of the way. I don't pass judgment. I just get in sort of a flow. Um, I feel like the song writes itself a lot of the times. And when I teach creativity workshops, I think what I'm really trying to help people to do is to get into that state of mind where their editor is turned off and they just allow ideas to pop in out of nowhere as, as we're talking about. But I think there is a somewhere. I think there's a, a flow of information that you can tap into and it's different for each person because everybody's got their own expression, their own way of expressing. But I think there is something there. And if you trust it and you just get calm and you stop trying to control it, it will come. And I think the reason why children are so creative is because they're not trying to control anything. They're just living in the moment. And when you live in the moment, it just flows right through. So what happens uh, when you're singing a song? Or do you actually write songs too, John? Yeah, I do. Um, I think, you know, uh, Danny and Michelle kind of touched on it, but Danny said the source, you know, and I think a lot of people will, will talk about that. If you get out of your own way, if you get out of the way if you're writing, or a lot of times when you're performing or mm -hmm. when you're creating art, um, if you get out of your way and just let it go, um, you know, there are definitely times I can think of where I'm performing on stage, and I don't have a great recollection of doing it after it's done. Um, that's where you want to be. That's You're really in a certain you state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you, and, and the fear is gone, and the ego and the judgment and all those things are gone. And um, what I like, what Danny said about the source is that you're actually getting out of the way, and that source is you know, coming through. A scientist might say if we're all at atomic level, energy and light and those kinds of things, you're getting everything out of the way so that can just shine through. It takes a lot of work to get there. Yes, I was <laughs> thinking uh, when you, you're in that state, uh, it's because you've practiced. I think when you're playing, you've practiced so much until you don't have to be aware of what you're doing. I mean, there's a level at which maybe you are aware, but another level at which you're so into what you're doing. That's because, what, you've gone over it and over it and over it until you could do it in your sleep, maybe? Unless you're two years old. Yeah, and I was just going to say. Let it go. Yeah, I think, I think what practice gives you is enough confidence that you've got the muscle memory and you know the the basics laid down so that you can just relax and, and just and let do what it go. do whatever yes, hits and you really be and that's what very flexible I with think it. that's what children do all the time now we've talked about this you all all of you are musicians and we've talked about it in terms of music but what about every, I don't want to say everyday people but but people who are not performers is creativity important and if so, how so, and why? Well, I um, I play guitar a bit, um, but I don't perform by any means. Um, I wouldn't label myself a performer. Um, I, I I'm not sure. Um, creativity is important, I think, to absolutely anybody, and I think that 
it's simply for the sake of happiness, right? Which is a state where I think people ideally want to be. I don't think that people want to be unhappy, rather, right? Um, and I think that creativity allows for that happiness because it's self-expression. Um, and so I do think that it's very necessary, not only for you know artists and musicians or any art, any anybody who performs, um, but for everybody in general. I think self-expression. Actually, I wanted to add, and I totally agree with you. Um, Adobe did a survey last year, um, and it turns out that 80% of the people that they surveyed think that creativity is important um, for economic growth and two-thirds of them think it's important just for society in general, but only one out of four people think that they are creative and they want to be more creative. And you're right, it is associated with happiness, just being able to express yourself fully, but they're frustrated. And um, what do you think the number one barrier to creativity is? That these Fear? No, that these people said in the, re in the survey. Good, that's a good one. Lack of confidence. Lack of time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Americans have the longest working hours and shortest vacation times of almost every country in the developed world. But, you know, we are looking at creativity. And you can tell me if it's just me sitting here <laughs> looking at it in terms of a performance. But there are different ways and different aspects of your life that you can be creative. Mm -hmm. And you don't, I mean, you can be at work and be creative. So, in terms of time, you can be creative every moment of the day in terms of what you're doing, can't you? In terms of how you're looking at what you're doing. The problem is, is if people are always rushed and they're going from one thing to the next um, and they're stressed, which most people are, um, they're not very likely to have creative ideas because they're trying to get from point A to point B. And remember we were all, I think we were all agreeing that there's a sort of a flow that you need to let yourself experience and you can't do that when you're rushing from one place to the next. That's not to say that busy people can't become creative. There are tricks to it and I don't want to dominate this conversation. Don't worry about but, it. Well, okay, so <laughs> there is, there are some tricks. So I think a lot of people um, are very busy right now, especially in the corporate world, because they've got extremely tight deadlines. And um, so they think that they have to work really hard and fast all day long to meet those deadlines. And that's the culture right now. The thing is, though, that what research has shown is that if you actually take breaks during the day, like even just a 20-minute break to take a walk around the building, um, you'll actually be more productive, you'll have higher quality work, and you increase the chances that you'll have a, a, an idea pop out of nowhere because you're letting your mind wander, Okay, if that makes now, sense. Okay, now, before you go on, John, uh, did you have... Well, I'm, I, I'm right on the same... Uh, right on the same page with that. Uh, the experience of being a cog in a machine is not necessarily a creative one. And a lot of employers may want you to be a cog in a machine because that's the efficiency and that's the strive. They're striving for quantity, uh, maximization of something, whether it be profit or whatever they want. Um, if, you, if they have a system that works, just produce more of it. Don't be creative. Just produce more of it. So we don't really, I don't, think, I don't think we really have an economy that has, if you looked at an, an older society and you had artisans and craftspeople, um, they are creating their, their they are making, uh, they're more involved in the process from start to finish. Now this is going pretty far back. Um, I think there's, you know, the stifling of creativity is on purpose. Um, you know, because it, it just doesn't work in some of the systems that we have going. However, some of the companies that do break through seem to allow for that time. And they're the ones that seem to get ahead and everybody sees because they innovate. Everyone talks about innovation. But you gotta allow for it. You gotta make time for it. Can't you be sitting at your desk? I mean, we run into problems every day in what we're doing, whatever it is we're doing. So can't you be sitting at your desk facing a problem and come up with a new idea in terms of how to deal with it? I'm thinking creativity isn't something that's just relegated to um, having a space a certain time of the day, but it can be incorporated in your life in everything you do. It could be, but it 
for the most part, it's not really right now. I mean, most people are not creative in their off hours, and most people are not creative during their work week either. 75% um, of the people report that they are productive rather than innovative. Um, that's not to say that that can't be changed. And in fact, the companies are suffering for it because I think it's um, something like U.S. companies are losing $300 billion a year because of high turnover, um, workers being uh, tardy or late or not coming in or, at all or having really long sick times because stress is starting to take its toll and it's actually hurting companies as well. So I think I'm really glad that you're having this show tonight because I think creativity is really, really important to our society today. I think, it, like you were saying before, being creative leads to happiness and I think people can be a lot happier and want to be happier.